Uh... Hey friends, it's Pia and welcome to my channel. I don't know why people keep posting back to school videos. I am nowhere near excited for school. Especially back in high school when I attended a private Catholic high school in the Philippines. Our school was crazy strict. We weren't allowed to do anything. And they would be so anal about anything and everything. Let me start with our uniforms. We wore white long sleeves, checkered skirts that were long enough that it would go all the way down to the middle of your fucking shin. And a blue necktie that has to be a perfect triangle at the top because if not, you're getting minus points in homeroom. The Philippines, if you may not know, is a tropical country. It gets hot as fuck. Our rooms did not have any AC. We had fans, four fans to be specific. But well, what can four fans do if there's 50 people in the room? 50 people in one classroom. And we weren't allowed to fold our sleeves. They always have to be down because if you fold them, you're getting minus points in homeroom. We weren't allowed to have long nails. It should always be trimmed and clean. If I go there with this, they'd fucking expel me. You weren't allowed to dye your hair or wear any sort of makeup. This one time, I really thought it was some bullshit. My friend at the time had naturally light hair. She was born with it. And as most of you may know, majority of Filipinos have black hair. But she had naturally lighter hair. They made her talk to faculty and faculty forced her to dye it back to black. When literally her roots are naturally light brown. How stupid is that? We also had a rowdy monitor in class. What a rowdy monitor is, is basically someone in class. Could literally be anyone. Could be you, could be the person right next to you. Your teacher has to pick from the 50 people in that classroom. One person who's gonna list down the people who are rowdy in class while the teacher is away. If your name was on board, you're getting minus points in homeroom. Now what is considered rowdy talking whispering opening a bag of chips you literally could not make a single noise i'm telling you that school was ridiculous you weren't allowed to do anything we had nap time in high school when i first told the people here that we had naps in high school they were so amazed we would have two breaks the first break was recess we would have our recess really early that it was considered breakfast and our second break was lunchtime and after lunchtime was our designated nap time i can't recall if it was an hour nap or half an hour nap that we got but it's still crazy to me that high schoolers have nap time now that i think about it you weren't allowed to bring any other stuff aside from your school supplies, books, and your lunch. One time in fifth grade, I remember bringing this small book with me to read while I was waiting for class to start. It was a compilation of scary stories, pictures, and everything, and I was really into those when I was a kid. The supervisor passes by, grabs the book from my hands as I was reading it, and hands me a ticket that says I have to meet with the principal after school. You weren't allowed to go anywhere in your school uniform. Since you are in uniform, you are representing the school wherever you go, yada yada. We would say, fuck that, no one will ever find out, and we would still go to each other's houses after class. And we would never get called to the office. But this one time in sophomore year, girl, girl, I was at the park with my boyfriend at the time, and we were in our uniforms. And being the in love high schoolers that we were, we were just being all fucking lovey-dovey at the park. Straight up PDA, straight up making now, straight up just feeling each other, just straight up get a fucking room, right? The next day our class started and we have this routine where all 50 of us would stand up and say, good morning teacher, good morning classmates, it's nice to see you again. And after that routine, the teacher would normally just would tell everyone to sit down. But that one time, she told everybody to sit down except for my boyfriend and I. She goes, you two should be ashamed of yourselves. Faculty saw you two at the park and reported you to me. You will meet with the principal after class. Sit down. Yeah, I didn't want to go home to my mom after that. 
after our meeting with the principal, from there we were suspended three days for wearing our uniform in public and for PDA. My mom was really upset at me. She did not talk to me for three days. Three days, she ignored me. Another weird practice that we had was at the end of class when it was time to go home. We would chant all together, all 50 of us, each section of 50 people would go out the gate in lines of twos and walk out while chanting. All 50 people would chant saying, see you tomorrow teachers. See you tomorrow, classmates. Don't be absent, don't be late. Don't talk to strangers and only cross on pedestrian lanes. Behave, be good, be careful. And we would all walk out the gate all together, waving. Every single day was like that. From first grade until motherfucking senior year of high school, we would all chant the same thing after school before we leave the facility. It wasn't until I moved here until I realized that shit was crazy. Well, I hope you thought this video was interesting. I want to share a little piece of my life with you guys and I think I established that in this video. I went to that high school for as long as I could remember. So it was a real pleasure to just put that out there and share the weirdness with you guys. Hit that like button down below and subscribe to be a butter biscuit today we are slowly growing as a family and i couldn't be happier bye